Snap. People come here basically for one reason, to see the numbers of birds that we have here and the multitude of birds. I mean, we have every bird that, that flies through North America just about. We have all the geese, we have all the ducks, um, and, it's, and it, you just see them in the numbers that you don't see down in the States. If you look at the numbers of birds that you have, or any, any wildlife that we have that, that is a sport, um, you're, doing, you're doing a couple of things. You're managing the population of, in our case, the birds. Um, we have some problems with our snow geese. They're overpopulated. They're starting to have an impact on the tundra, obviously. They also have an impact on farmers. Um, they have an impact on our land. So you're trying to control those numbers. And, and through all of that, you have people that are very educated in this, that know the numbers that need to be eliminated every year to, to keep it in balance. And you do that in, in all of our animals. They try to keep things in balance so that you have enough food, um, areas, disease, all of that. So um, there's more to it than just, you know, you're not just out shooting birds. There's a reason why this goes on the way that it does. If you've never hunted up here and you watched how uh, some of our hunts go, it's it's pandemonium. You're not used to so many birds coming so fast. And these guys, they're part of a team. That dog works off that guy. I mean, it's, it's fun to watch because it's like a, a well-tuned machine that knows what they're doing for sure. And that's part of the hunt that just keeps the hunt moving. What these guys go through to put this together is pretty incredible. Um, everything takes a beating from the guides themselves to their trucks. We had a few trucks that wouldn't start this morning because it was so cold. Um, it was the dogs are retrieving, you know, 10,000 birds in a season. Um, I, I want to say Hunter's dog today retrieved probably 40 to 50 birds, uh, and watching those two wor those two work was nothing short of, uh, of a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Hunting in Wisconsin has been, you know, you see some geese and, and ducks and stuff, but uh, when we came up here, it was a whole nother world up here. Um, the experience was, was incredible. Uh, seeing a, guy, a sky full of a cloud of, of geese was, was something I hadn't seen before. Um, so sitting in that, that layout blind, just staring up at, at kind of this dark sky of, of geese was, was pretty surreal. One of the reasons we love to come out to places like this where, you know, it's essentially hunting at its highest level is to kind of see what it is that the dogs have to, uh, the kind of work that they have to put in to make it through, you know, a hunt, back-to-back -back hunts, and a season full of hunts. Uh, and that just helps us, helps educate us. Uh, we obviously think we know, but until you get up here and see them working uh, and see how they respond to our products, uh, you, don't, you don't really know. So uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to kind of, you know, get up here, see it firsthand, obviously get to do a little hunting. And uh, you know, you, it, it just helps us make our products better if we see that you know, dog isn't responding quite a, quite the way we'd like it to the next day. We know we can kind of work with our nutritionists and, and tweak things to get things dialed in for them and kind of go from there. And the end result for everyone else that is using Alpha Dog Nutrition is, uh, I mean, the, the customer feedback kind of speaks for itself and it, it's really cool to see. Mark. Stella.